Hello everybody. So like I said in the previous video, this is the Spider Coferry knife, a uh, copy of course. It came today by the mail, I was very excited uh, when I went to get it. And I was expecting this to be a pretty good knife and uh, <laughs> yeah, it was more than I expected. This knife is just amazing. And uh, okay, when I say it's an amazing knife, I mean, it's uh, maybe closer to the perfect knife than any other knife I have, probably. Yeah, why? It's thin, thin profile here, so you can wear it uh, without uh, too much bulk in your pocket or in your, under your belt. Uh, broad blade, so you can spread butter or mayonnaise or well, peanut butter or something with it, very easy it's uh... the only thing I don't like so much is that it's not flipper but uh... it's very very cool and the opening and closing is very nice, like opening is very nice the closing is normal the opening, very cool and it's not on ball bearings, it's just uh, washers but still amazing also this is one of the biggest knife, maybe the biggest knife I have. Very big, it's uh, 25.2 centimeters, I think, something like that, very big. And still, it's very light. I mean, this is titanium, and this they claimed it's uh, like the original for it, uh, it's CPM 10V, which happens to be a very good steel, but still, I'm not sure that this, this is true, because uh, yeah, this is pretty rare still, and uh, I guess it's something like D2 or something. I don't have enough information to know what exactly is this. But this is all, almost perfect copy of the original. The only difference I see when I see pictures of the original is like here in the pocket clip. The bolt is a little smaller here. On the... not a little. On the original is visibly bigger, the bolt. And um, this thing for the liner here, it's protruding a little bit, so it's not very, I mean, not very good quality, exactly this thing, but the, the old knife is just amazing. This is good stone wash, and uh, the blade itself is uh, sharp, and it's full flat grind, which makes it very good. Cutter, I tried it on some uh, salami or something, it was amazing. It's very well centered, which I very much appreciate on the blade. If it's not, it's a little bit not not good for me. So this is this makes it, uh, and it's also very pretty, from in my opinion, it's superb looking knife. So I'm thinking about buying the original. We'll see if I can find one. It's pretty expensive, but still, I I think that this knife deserves that. Uh, and they say the original is also superb knife, so let's see how much it weighs. So for this size, which is one of the biggest folders I've seen even. Uh, no. Okay. Okay, go. Okay, 158 grams. It's pretty, pretty light. So let's compare it to this one. The Decepticon 2 copy with the carbon fiber, titanium and the mask steel it is 148 grams really? ok, it's lighter, but still you can see which one is bigger and the Decepticon is definitely not bigger it's smaller, yeah it's a little bit, a little bit smaller If you compare them, the Decepticon, it's very good knife, it's a flipper, it's big, big knife, but it's pretty much bu very bulkier. I mean, the Decepticon, I like very much, the Decepticon too. Very good knife with the Damascus and stuff, everything, but it's very bulky, very bulky. And when you put it in a pocket, it's... And this one, just thin big knife, very useful, I think this is one of the most useful knives I have, 
because you can cut bread with it, it's long enough the blade, you can spread butter, you can do everything with this knife. I mean, probably not everything, you cannot wash with it, because it's not a shower and something like that, but still, you can do anything. Uh, a knife can do it. Probably you can even cut some wood with it, like this, like chop wood. But I don't, I won't try that because of uh, here is very thin, so it can chip easily. I think but it's a good knife for cutting. What the knife is all about? It's good. The only knife that I have that it's compatible with the size is the copy of uh, of Benchmade Skirmish, which is one of my favorite knives, and exactly. For the same reasons, it's very badass looking, it's broad blade, it is hollow grind here so it's super sharp and uh, thin profile here, you can see, almost the same, but the ferrite I think is a little thinner, which is amazing, and the ferrite is bigger, yeah, here they are on pair and this you see, it's bigger, and uh, the co is Navi, Navy, K604, uh, 602. I don't think that this knife is on sale anywhere anymore, so I'm lucky to have some of them, I think I have three. Still, this knife, very big, the ferrite, bigger. Uh, wow, well, so yeah, I think this knife, the spider cook for it was uh, worth, it's around 50, 50 US dollars. Uh, you can find it, I, I bought it from AliExpress, uh, the seller was very nice. Um, and uh, also, it came very quickly to Bulgaria. So, yeah, I think it's good. Maybe I will have to uh, disassemble it and uh, get this thing done here because it's a little bit annoying. Yeah, you can see. It's sticking a little bit out. On this side, not so much. But on the other side, yeah, it's sticking, you can see. So, this is one of uh, very little complaints I have about this knife. Maybe the only one. Opening and closing, amazing. You see, thin, here, very good, it's rounded here, and then you get it like this, very cool, very cool feeling, very nice, so you can cut easy, so yeah, in my opinion, this is uh, very close to the perfect knife, S uh, even if it's only $50 and I have uh, knives for $300, I have even the Decepticon one, which is uh, the original one, which is around uh, $1,000. This knife is far more practical than maybe any other knife I have. More practical than most. For the thin profile here, the big blade, lightweight, and the... <laughs> you know, uh, if you, for example, are attacked by some junkie on the street or something, if you just get this knife out, just get it out and let it be seen they will run this knife looks very badass on my hand, you know, it's like very big, my hands are pretty big and this knife <laughs> it's very very big you see it's big, my, my hands are big so this knife is big also let me see if I can compare it with some other knife that is more <coughs> known to the public, like this is a Kershaw <coughs> knockout, I think, yeah. Very practical knife also. Let's see. It's a fucking dwarf. Just a dwarf. This, I like this very much for the team profile also and for the lightweight. This is practical. This is just practical knives. And this lighting speed opening also is cool. And it's also a flipper. I like flippers. But even <coughs> if I like flippers now, and this is a copy of Shurgorov. Little, very little, small compared to this monstrous big spider who for it K2. And you see, there's a 
very good <coughs> markings here. Taichung Taiwan here for it K2. And here you can see <coughs> Spiderco CPM 10V with steel. Yeah. And the Spiderco logo. So it's uh, almost indistinguishable uh, from the original. Undistinguishable. Okay. You cannot say if it's fake or not. <laughs> uh, only thing is this bolt here, which is smaller than the original, and some originals don't have this hole here. I mean, maybe they have the stopper here, because inside here is the stopper, so the flame lock doesn't go much this direction. Uh, but still, the, the hole in some originals is missing in the pictures I've seen. Some have it. So, pff, this is not anything. So let's open it and close it a few times. It just... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I was playing all day uh, with this knife today. When I received it, I was like, wow, this is amazing. So yeah, again, uh, if I can find the original, probably I will buy it. Uh, buy it. Uh, but uh, we'll see. It's amazing now. And uh, like I say, maybe one of the best I have. And this is the big, the big tree. One of the maybe biggest knives I have here in my possession. Uh, let me see if I can take out. <coughs> yeah, this is the original Chinese. Knife. You see. And it's pretty big knife. But compared to these beasts, it's small, but this is a big knife. Really big. Yeah, I have a review of this knife. It's very good flipping action. I mean like most of the expensive Chinese copies because this knife is around I think maybe uh, maybe around $200 or less, I'm not sure, but around that. It's very cool, but not very practical, because like, you see. Yeah. <laughs> yes. See this one, how thin is it? How fat is it, this? And this is heavy knife. Even everything is titanium and uh, titanium clips, which is very cool and everything. It's very pretty knife. But still, it's... Uh, Pretty heavy, and this one much, much bigger, much bigger. See here, they are on par here. <laughs> Amazing! Oh wow! Yeah. And the blade and everything. This knife, yeah. So yeah, maybe uh, <clears throat> I will wear the spiderco for it from now on. Because it's just such amazing, amazing looking and amazing cutter and amazing for wearing because it's thin and light and everything. Mm, so yeah, very close to the perfect knife. I don't know what uh, can I add, maybe like flipper or something to be perfect. And uh, yeah, it, it, can, it can be a flipper, like see this thing here. It goes this way, and suddenly it's here. So if it's protruding a little bit to be a flipper, it's no problem. It will protrude a little bit here, which I think will complement the design. So yeah, I think I can buy the original and keep the original in the original form, and this one to give it to one of our... Uh, Knife makers to make the blade, the same blade, but with a flipper here. It will be amazing, I think. We gotta try that. Alright, that's about this knife. I cannot say anything more. Titanium, uh, claiming to be CPM uh, 10V steel, which is uh, probably, of course, not true. But still amazing knife, still a good cutter, uh, because of the full flat grind. I like that in the spider because maybe the most, the full flat one. And some of the spider spider cos are pretty nice. Uh, for me. Mm, yes. There are many people that don't like spider at all, but uh, I think some of them are pretty pretty good. Not all of them of course. For example, I don't like the Endura. But 
everybody has this, the, the taste or the right to have no taste, for example. <laughs> okay, that's it for the knife. <coughs> Thank you. And uh, yeah, see you soon.